My name is Jacob from jacobteacher.com and today in this video I'm going to talk to you about the phrase innocent until proven guilty. Now, there's a special reason why I'm going to talk to you about this phrase. Very recently, on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Stephen Colbert, he made a joke using this phrase. He took this phrase and he kind of played with the language a little bit and he made everyone laugh. So in this video, we're going to look at what he said. I'm going to kind of explain the joke, explain what he did and I'm going to help you understand this phrase because it's a very common English phrase. We use it when we're talking about law and it's a very, very important phrase to know. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how it is used in English. We're going to look at what Stephen Colbert said, but first I want to kind of give you some background about what he's talking about in the video that I'll show you. There's a very well-known man in America. He's the host of a news show on Fox News, on the Fox News channel, and it's called The O'Reilly Factor. His name is Bill O'Reilly. He's very well known. He's been involved in the media for a long, long time. Recently, he's gotten himself into a lot of trouble. There have been allegations by many women against him. Many women have come forward and said that he has sexually assaulted them. So he's in a lot of legal trouble right now. There are a lot of things going on. Um, a lot of companies that sponsored his show, The O'Reilly Factor, they've pulled their sponsorship. They're no longer giving the, his show any money because of what's going on. So he's just in a lot of trouble. And actually just last Saturday, the New York Times reported that five women received settlements from O'Reilly or Fox News Channel parent company, 21st Century Fox, that totaled $13 million. So what does that mean? It means that Bill O'Reilly and his company have paid five of these women $13 million so that they could not go to court. If you're being sued by someone, if someone is suing you for something that you did, and you come to a settlement with that person, it means that you came to an agreement before going to court, before actually sitting down and having a trial. You basically pay that person a lot of money to leave you alone and to drop the case. And that's what Stephen Colbert is going to be talking about when he makes this joke. He's going to be talking about Bill O'Reilly and the trouble that he is in right now. And let's watch the clip. Let's listen to the joke. On Saturday, the New York Times reported that Fox News and Bill O'Reilly had spent more than $13 million to settle sexual harassment suits against Bill O'Reilly, although O'Reilly says the accusations against him are without merit. Okay, New York Times? What happened to innocent until proven to have $13 million? <laughs> but, but, that's $13 million. <laughs> So what exactly is the joke? Why are people laughing here? Well, it would be helpful to start with looking at the phrase innocent until proven guilty. Like I said, it's a very common phrase. It's a very important phrase to know if you're learning English. It's always used when we're talking about law. And what does it mean exactly? If one person is suspected of having committed a crime, until they've sat in front of a jury and a judge in a courtroom, and until they've been found guilty, they are legally innocent. So let's look at an example. Let's say that there is a murder that happened. Let's say that everyone thinks that person A murdered person B. And let's say that there is a lot of good evidence that suggests that person A did in fact murder person B. Even if all of this is true, even if there is all of this evidence that suggests that person A murdered person B, until person A sits in front of a judge and a jury, and until that jury decides that person A did in fact murder person B, person A is considered innocent. They are innocent until they are proven guilty in a court of law. So that is what that phrase means. So what's the joke here? What is so funny about what Stephen Colbert said? Well, let's go back and take a quick look. What happened to innocent until proven to have $13 million? 
Bill O'Reilly is saying that he did not do any of the crimes that he's being accused of. He's saying that he did not sexually assault any of these women that are saying he did. That the accusations against him are without merit. That's what that means. But at the same time, Bill O'Reilly and the company that he's working for, they've already paid five of these women $13 million. So what Stephen Colbert is doing is he's suggesting that Bill O'Reilly would not have paid these women $13 million. He wouldn't have paid these women so much money if he truly didn't do anything wrong. The reason the joke is funny, the reason people are laughing so hard, is because he's playing with the language in an unexpected way. He's taking a phrase that all of us are very familiar with, the phrase innocent until proven guilty, and he's substituting some of the language. He's tricking us. He's changing it in a way that's very unexpected and in a way that makes all of us laugh. So I hope you understand the joke and I hope you more importantly understand what the phrase innocent until proven guilty means. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. My name is Jacob from jacobteacher.com. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.